guys and welcome back to the channel uh, it is a brisk day today it is cold it was 60 degrees yesterday now it's like 40 something degrees here in Memphis and man it's gonna be 29 tonight got to remember it's still winter time even though uh, spring is just a few days away it's still winter and the temperature can drop at any time and so I'm out here getting prepared to bring my little seedlings in uh, that I planted because it's going to be 29 degrees the ones that's in the ground they're good because uh, all of these are uh, frost forgiving plants that I planted um, in the ground but the ones that's in these uh, little uh, greenhouses they are going to have to come in tonight because it's going to be 29 degrees and so um, getting getting those prepared and going to have to get them uh, ready because I'll be gone for four days so uh, hopefully the temperature doesn't drop while I'm gone but uh, hubby will be here so I will have him to you know be looking after the plants and everything so um, yeah it's cold today so I'm going to take them in just overnight uh, because tomorrow it's going to be like 68 degrees so they'll come back out and um, be out uh, hopefully it doesn't the temperature doesn't drop again like I said but um, yeah I'm going to bring them in but let me give you a quick update on everything uh, that's growing uh, the little seedlings some of them are growing some of them haven't taken off yet but uh, the things in the ground are starting to pop up oh, this wind. <laughs> they're starting to pop up and uh, my kale is doing very good the kale is really really doing good and I have some lettuce and I think something has been eating my lettuce because I had more lettuce out here and I'm just seeing just a few little sprigs of, of my lettuce um, my purple lettuce and then my other lettuce it's trying to come up but it I don't know it's looking like grass I don't know I'm gonna have to really look at it uh, that's the only thing the drawback of planting in ground is that um, you got to pick weeds and I said last year that I wasn't gonna do that but I did it anyway so I got to be prepared to pick the weeds out and that's a part of gardening you guys if you are wanting to start a garden uh, you have to have a game plan and think about what you want and and how you want to plant your uh, your garden if you want it in ground if you want the planters if you want the, uh, the yeah the planter boxes or if you want to do them in containers so that's something to think about I mean you still have time to start and um, like us we started early uh, I'm constantly looking at what I should put in the ground when where you know what to plant together what not to plant together I still have to uh, figure out this milkweed I have milkweed seeds that I want to um, plant because they bring on the um, pollinators the butterflies the bees and everything so I got to find a safe place because I do have my two dogs and I want to have a safe place for them uh, to roam around in the yard I don't want them to get into the milkweed because it's very poisonous for animals so that's something to think about when you're planting uh, other things in the yard like plants and stuff if they're toxic to your animals if you have animals and stuff that's something to think about as well so yeah I'm really thinking about how I can 
uh, engage more on my channel, how to bring more followers. Uh, I have uh, 195 subscribers right now, and uh, I'm just, I've, I've just been at that standstill for a long time, and I'm looking for ways to bring more subscribers. Uh, I've been kind of tinkering with uh, different types of content, uh, intros and, and everything. So, yeah, it's, it's a journey, it's a journey. And it doesn't happen overnight. Uh, I'm looking at another uh, YouTuber's uh, channel today and they talked about their journey and how they got to uh, 100K. Uh, but they started a couple of years ago and they have built a, a following and it is a beautiful journey to see where they started and where they're they are now so um, we'll get there we'll get there and gardening is something that I love I'm passionate about it because it it feels good when you grow your own food and especially like I've always said you live when you live in a food desert and you don't have fresh vegetables readily available you know to you it's a good thing when you can just walk out into your backyard and, and pick whatever you want you know uh, this year we're going to have fruit trees. I planted a lot of different things this year. I broadened the planting season for myself. I'm still educating myself on everything, but I am really truly trying to uh, bring more awareness in my neighborhood about gardening and the benefits of planting your own food. Uh, so ooh, the wind <laughs> so you guys you know even if you just start with a tomato plant or a cucumber plant or something you know once you start seeing it grow man that is the the most rewarding feeling ever in life that you did that you grew it you know so let me give y'all a quick update on everything and uh yeah all right guys so these are my kale plants they are really doing great the kale and i have one one of my lettuce plants and i have plenty of lettuce out here and i don't know what happened something is eating it but I uh, see another one right here. And my beets. Hubby was trampling all over them. But the beets, I'm going to have to thin them out as time goes on. I want them to kind of sprout up a little bit more before I thin them out. I have carrots growing. And these are short carrots that's growing here these are short carrots and I will thin them out as time go on and then I have spinach two types of spinach uh, the salad spinach and then it's another type of spinach and then the sage it's not growing yet my other carrots these are the regular carrots here and they are growing as well and then I put beans and stuff down too uh, they only been down for a few days not very long and then my tomato plants back there they haven't started yet uh, nor has my eggplant uh, back there but my lettuce my other lettuce is doing good so yeah and coming over here these are my greenhouses as you can see I'm 
those are my okra plants and everything is coming in today because like I said it's so cold out here and it's gonna be cold tonight and I got fenugreek and oregano and those and basil I have to put the bricks on top of them to keep them from flying away the tops and then I got my onions and uh, sweet peppers uh, cucumbers and I got blueberry plants uh, and raspberry plants and I look it looked like I have oh, something growing right here what is that oh a baby watermelon right here but yep these are coming in tonight and so they won't uh, mess up because uh, I've had offers for people they want to buy my plants uh, my seedlings once they get you know their garden started they want to purchase some of my seedlings so I want to keep them as healthy as possible and if I can grow more things uh, in these little planters I will but yeah you guys thank you guys all who watch my channel who has subscribe to the channel and like my videos thank you thank you thank you so much and uh i will be bringing you another video before i go out of town and so i want to be on this road to 500 subscribers uh by june i i need to be on this journey to 500 subscribers so if you guys would share my videos, uh, tell people about my videos, that would be greatly appreciated. So, you guys, that's it for today. I will be uh, going to see my new grandbaby uh, on Thursday night. So, I will see you guys when I get back. And as always, happy gardening. So, brothers and sisters, see you next time.